Hello, my name's Steve Edmonds. I've got a map, a hire car, and just three days to discover the tiny Greek island of Paxos. Located off the west coast of Greece, just to the south of Corfu, is the picturesque Ionian island of Paxos. Measuring just 12 square miles, it's small in comparison to its bigger sister. But, as I was about to find out, size isn't everything. For my trip, I was based in the beautiful harbour village of Logos, staying as a guest of GIC The Villa Collection, in a comfortable villa with stunning views over the bay. Logos is the smallest of the island's three main villages, and I have to say it was my favourite. Incredibly pretty, and I can't imagine it's changed much in the last 50 years. Already I was getting a sense that Paxos was different, unspoiled and untouched by mass tourism. You get a sense that this is the real deal. So with only three days to discover the island, it was important that I got the inside line from an expert. And who better than someone who's been welcoming guests to the island for the last 30 years? Thomas Avantitakis. People come here for many reasons. One of the reasons may be the fact that it doesn't, the island doesn't have an airport. You don't get a hotel here. So if you come here, you have to stay in a villa. And you have to do things yourself. You have to go places, you have to discover the island, you have to feel the island and this is what makes a certain kind of people come here year after year for many many years. The kind of people that they, they look for what Greece used to be uh, years ago. Supposing you have three days, what do you do? For the first day you take it easy. Just get here, get to know the basics and then you find a beach, you find a bar, you relax, you have a drink and you forget about all your worries. Day two, get a little more energetic about it. Get yourself a boat. You go to Antipaxos, for example. You find yourself a nice sandy beach and you spend the day there. On the third day, you can start from the south end of the island, say Magonisi, and use the west coast, go around the island. And later in the evening, you watch the sunset from a nice place on the west coast and I think you've, you've, you've seen almost everything. So, now I have my plan. 